Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of This Wall's Descent, and Happy New Year to those of you not already in it. Um, I didn't get a chance to record or earlier because I worked this morning, but I wanted to record before I went out tonight, so here I am. Uh, I just wanted to get into kind of the meat of this game because it was like all exposition, episode 1. We found out a bunch of stuff. Uh, we found out that... Uh, someone had been murdered before by having, they were strangled and had a bird stuffed down their throat. And I have been hired as a cook, but I'm actually a police officer or something of the sort, an investigator. And it's my job to protect the guy that is kind of just kind of, he, he's a dick. He's a dick. He's mean to me and the girl who I think has got the hots for me. Okay, dining room. Spilled wine. Party foul. Well, looks like even monks of Sophia leave out dishes once in a while. It's more that I left out dish. It's a bunch of hymns to Sophia, mostly about her dinner-granting qualities. The one thing I'm really enjoying about this game so far, because I haven't really done too much in it, is that pretty much everything is interactable. Like, it's not just... He have even had a comment about the columns when I first started walking around. Like, everything is basically something I can click on. Full to the brim with air and empty space. Like, even this empty box. Flavor text. Flavor text everywhere. And it's great. He has thoughts on everything. How convenient. The door's locked. A lot of locked doors going on. There weren't any doors down here. Because these were not doors. Okay. Let's go back up then. I came down that way, so I think we can go this way. I think. bedroom. Whose bedroom? This nightstand looks a little shaken up. The mirror is crooked. Dude, who sleeps there? They're a mess. Weighs a ton. Probably full of gilded cinder blocks. Look at all these knives. A bunch of daggers. This is in no way suspicious. There is like 100% too much sass. Now this is somewhere I wouldn't mind spending the night. Unlike those wooden pallets in the servants' quarters. I'm guessing this is around where my boss is sleeping. Okay. No, I was in here. Okay, so maybe I... Where haven't I been? Because up was the church stuff. Yeah, I've talked to him. He says, go downstairs. Where is downstairs? The mythical place. Because I haven't seen any. Because this was all up. Oh, I could talk. I think these may be... Okay, I figured it out. It didn't take me that long either. I can't believe I hauled a communications gem all the way out to the Tyrian border just to have Anna hang up on me. I said right in front of this person. Salutations. Hi. Have we met? No, no. I don't think we have. Introductions are in order. The name's Holston. Holston Trot Tot. I'm the chief architect here at St. Hismarck's. By chief architect, I mean, I'm on contract, of course. Not that there are any other architects around. And I'm not just an architect. You may know my poetry from the Salem's Vaugh Classics 5th volume, 
or my subtle painting style from the tapestries at... Never heard of you. Sorry. Are you here to meet the ambassador? Ambassador Belgrave? I heard he was going to be here to see the delegation from Yateria, but... Negative. I'm just here by Cardinal Cole's request. Right. Guess I should keep an eye on you then. And you, young gentleman, who might you be? I'm an agent of, or, uh, surgeon at, uh, ooh, uh, f ooh. I'm Ambassador Belgrave's personal chef. If you have any luggage you need moved and, or, uh, menial labor performed, or, uh, I'm not a detective, but, yeah, not a detective. I'm not a colonel. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> And what a charming chef you are. Your name? Uh, William Bisque, sir? You're a fine young gent, William. I used to be like you. The young, common folk sort of man. But you can't get ahead. But you can get ahead in life. Just fan the flame of inspiration. Let Sophia's wisdom guide you. If your work is artistic, delicate, divinely inspired, even you will find something for you in life. That was, uh, vaguely encouraging, I guess? Whatever. Your name was Holston, right? Are you headed downstairs? I am indeed. The Cardinal wanted me in my studio working on blueprints, but... The Ambassador's an old friend. Well, clients anyway. Maybe this is just the inspiration I need to complete the Cardinal's project. Uh, what do you say, William? Uh, sounds fine to me? Maybe I'll just wait in my room until dinner. <laughs> no, no. Even if you're a lowly chef, I'm sure His Holiness would love to have you at the dinner table. Well, Belgrave would be just as happy if I'd jump out the window and fall to my death. How could the ambassador be so heartless? Go ahead downstairs. Tonight, just follow my lead. You'll see. A true artist is welcome anywhere. If you put half as much passion into your cooking as I do into my architecture, or my paintings, or my prose, then to me, you're a man of high society. Right. Fine, I'll go downstairs and see how... High Society is doing in the parlor. Oh, looks like everyone's just showing up. Sir Castle, you've finally made it. Good to see you again. Ho ho! I wouldn't miss a trip out to St. Hismarck's, especially when someone else is foot in the bill. I hope you have the usual drink. Oh, yes, that can be arranged. Oh, Brother John, just standing around, are you, huh? Oh, carry your ba own bags. Ho oh, ho, Cardinal, your brother here is a comedian. John, take Sir Kessel's bags upstairs. We'll speak later. <laughs> Tell him where to shove him. Castle, you're traveling alone? You're the entire Yaterian delegation? Of course not. The lovely Miss... Whoa. Zwebruken. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm just gonna drop it and leave it there. Has volunteered to come along and meet the ambassador. 
I'm sure she's lovely. Afternoon, Cardinal. I hope you don't mind an extra visitor. <laughs> oh, wow. Miss Zabrukin. This is very unexpected. I don't mean to. Your hospitality is as lovely as ever. Cardinal, you're a courteous host. I'll stay in my usual room, then. Ho ho, Dietrich. You two know each other. Then you know how she can be. Just say, can't say no to her. Of course we know each other. My family practically built this monastery. Or at least supplied the money. Isn't that right, Cardinal? Y yes. Uh -huh. There really does seem to be no running away from you. Of course not. Cardinal, is the Sable Vault party already here? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Right this way. Guess it's time to follow them in. Excuse me, one second, guys. And has been the case for the last two weeks. I'm still sick. So you'll just have to give me a minute every once in a while. Uh-oh. Who's this ponytail? Wait. Hold up. Who are you? Same questions. Same page. Oh, it's a girl. I thought I was 100% sure it was a guy. Me? Who are you? Sneaking around? You're no monk. The name's William. I'm a cook. Sylvia Sorrow. I'm a scribe. A scribe? You're traveling with that military guy then? A diplomat? None of your business. <laughs> One day I'll be able to achieve those high octaves again. And girl voices won't sound exactly like guy voices. Because I can move my voice at different octaves. Oh, I can't wait. It's like a dream. What's a cook doing wandering around questioning everyone? Oh, no reason. So why is a scribe sneaking in after everyone's left? None of your business, cook. I doubt you're a cook anyway. And I doubt you're a scribe. Shouldn't you get to the lounge then? Wouldn't want to miss the introductions. Fine. I look forward to tonight's dinner then, cook. Those are some sick-ass burns. <laughs> and Missy, you never get anywhere with that attitude. Oh, he had like an accent, didn't he? The Atarians are a bunch of uneducated, uncultured swine. Uh -huh. And frankly, this world is better off without them. Ambassador, I... Uh, <clears throat> your Holiness, we were just discussing the majesty of your monastery. Truly a modern marvel, unparalleled in beauty and peerless in charm. Huh. The Yetarian delegation has arrived. I'll introduce you and we'll enjoy drinks before dinner. Ambassador Belgrave. This is Sir Don Castle, former general and your Yetarian counterpart. And you'll be working with him on the negotiations tomorrow. Ho ho, my pleasure, Ambassador. Oh no, sir, the pleasure is mine. I'm flattered to be received by such a fine gentleman. Your military exploits are famous in Salem's Wall as well, of course. Who could forget the Battle of Elberg, where you fearlessly led an army over the border and crushed the Salem's Fall garrison? Or your brilliant and innovative tactics in the Ten Years' War that destroyed all of those Salem's Fall castles? It's been a good career. Glad to hear you're a fan. Belgrave, was it? 
Frederick Belgrave. I can't wait to work on this, uh, peacekeeping mission. Wink. Nudge. Know what I mean? Shameless as usual. At least this officer guy looks like he's not terrible. The general is also traveling with the, uh, ch ch charming Miss Zabrukin. I'm sure you know the family. Please, Astrid is fine. Politics is above my head, so I'll leave that to you, all right? I'm just here to enjoy the library and maybe check in on a few projects. So I won't be getting in your way, Ambassador. Miss Astrid, what a, what a pleasure, what a pleasure. I trust your father is well, doing well. He's a true gentleman of the most outstanding family. His health is poor these days, so I've been helping out with the minor affairs. Just a bit of business. Zabrukin, should I know her? She's a Brooklyn. I just met her. I think the sickness is getting to my head. I made a couple of really terrible dad jokes. Ugh. I try. Guess I'll have to ask Anna. Huh. And we have a straggler. Who might you be? <laughs> Sylvia Sorrow. I'm just a, just a scribe. Nothing more. Nothing less. Just a scribe. Don't question it. That's right. Ho ho. Uh, the higher outs must think I can't read or write, so they sent this girl out with me. A scribe? Well, make yourself scarce, Missy. Hope you're good at dictation. Definitely keeping an eye on that one. Oh, yes. Well, if you'll pardon me, Brother John should be in soon with the drinks. Feel free to relax. We'll be having an early dinner tonight, and then you two can begin negotiations. Cardinal, there wasn't a man by the name of Holston around here, was there? Isn't that the architect? Mr. Brugan, you're very well informed. Oh, just a lucky guess. You wouldn't mind fetching him then, would you? I'll have Brother John uh, bring him in. Thank you. Oh. Doesn't having an artist around just brighten the mood? Holston? Holston Tot? That's him. He's on commission here for certain projects. You know him, Ambassador? He was a sculptor for the fountain back at my mantor in Salem's Ball. Incompetent toad. That statue looked nothing like me. Oh, curious. He's one of my favorite artists. I'm sure my tastes are just unrefined compared to the combat ambassador, of course. <laughs> oh, no, no, miss. I'm just a misunderstanding, I'm sure. Miss Zabrugan's taste is exquisite. Truly a modern master. That's my ambassador. Never saw a boot he didn't want to lick. Salutations. Welcome, one and all. That's not me you're talking about, is it? Ah, Holston. Welcome. Huh, that should be everyone, correct? Please enjoy yourselves before dinner is ready. Do I just talk to everybody now? I have free reign. Maybe drinking. For a place of worship, there does seem to be a lot of beer consumption around here. I actually went to college at a place that had monks that lived on campus. 
They love drinking beer. This is extremely accurate. Piano. Can I play it? If I had any musical talent, I'd go undercover as a virtuoso. That beat a cook. Well, I can't cook either. I thought this was a courtyard at first. Because of the carpet. But that's a fireplace right there. Okay, let's ask her first. Hi, William. Hello, Krissa. How's this peacekeeping mission so far? Pretty terrible, actually. And not much of a peacekeeping mission at all. <coughs> oh, yeah? You know how Ambassador Belgrave is... treats his underlings like dirt? Well, I'm more mean. He was wrapped up in that war with Yateria for a decade or two, right? I'm pretty sure he's interested... I think there's a missing word here. I think she means I'm pretty sure he's not interested in peace at all. Because I'm pretty sure he's not interested in peace at all. Kind of a weird peace choice for a peacekeeping mission. I don't get it. Have you met the Yatarian man the ambassador is supposed to be meeting with, Sir Castle? I think he's under the impression that this is a vacation and not a negotiation. Am I seriously the only one here who's doing what I'm supposed to do? I'm doing my part anyway. You just handle the diplomacy side of things. Haha, <laughs> and you'll handle the food side of things? Well, that's not quite what I meant. But if you see anything fishy, let me know, all right? Can do. I'm suspicious of you. There's something you're up to. You've got a secret. I think everyone here has a secret, but I think she's got a secret. What are you doing here? Who's your family? Okay, let's just talk to everyone and then I'll call it for the, the episode. It's getting even worse, Frederick. The bootleggers in Yateria are spoiling everything. Bootleggers? Oh, don't bore me. Kill them or something. You're not worried about the Zabrukin family? Zabrukins, the old man's senile, and his daughter's too busy ch chasing artists to care. <laughs> he says while well, she's right there. I don't care who they work for, just get rid of them. Took me a while, but I found his voice again. Astrid Sabrukin, be careful, Frederick. Don't fall for her act. She's, she's a scary one. <laughs> a pretty face is all. I've got the money on me, don't worry. Frederick, you're a good man. This time we won't fail. It's an investment, not a gift. So be careful this time, Dietrich. And don't know how much effort it took to lug all that money from Salem's Vault all the way here. Huh, I'm sure it was a burden for those tiny, tiny horses. Ah, how long have you been there? Just making everyone, making everything's okay, your holiness. Well, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare for dinner, yes. Ah. So, there's something going on. Oh, if it isn't my personal chef, shouldn't you be in the kitchen or something? You know full, full well who I am. So you can cut it out. If I was cooking, I wouldn't exactly be doing my job as a bodyguard, right? <laughs> if I treated you like anything but a servant, it'd blow your cover, right? Oh, so he knows. He knows. And you're only a sergeant. Pitiful. Surgeon at law. Arc ranks are different. When I retired from the military, I was at least a respected officer. You and your weird secret agencies handing out bodyguards all of a sudden. It's all very silly. 
The monastery is a holy house of the goddess Sophia. No one could be so crass as to do anything violent here. And I thought Ark specialized in the arcane anyway. Ever since Prince Eric was assassinated, we've been keeping an eye out for those zealots, the anti-arcane people. No one's more anti-arcane than the church, right? Pwahaha, -ha, you're a buffoon. The Cardinal and I are old friends. He has nothing to do with Prince Eric. Who cares about the assassination? Birds jump down through his throat. Ridiculous. You lower crats, mice are so truly boring. Don't you have anyone else to bother? I'm just trying to do my job here. Then get to work on tonight's dinner. Pig. Okay. Who next? Who next? Let's, let's talk to this guy. I don't get your problem. You're a monk, and you can't even read? That's hearsay. Isn't Sophia the goddess of knowledge? Reading never helped. I'm sorry. Reading never helped anything. Oh, really? You can't think of any time where it would have been useful to know how to read or write? Am I wasting my life as a scribe, then? Nothing good ever came of it. Like I had to drag all those books in your luggage upstairs, heavy as the blazes. What those books are for work? Well, most of them are anyway. You know, records and all. Might be some personal reading in there never hurts to be prepared. I agree. But why in the goddess's name were you going through my luggage? Har har. Stay away from my things, you brute. And stay away from Sir Castle. Who, the fat man? Yes, the fat man, you son of an ape. He's the most decorated military officer in Yetarian history. And if you and the rest of those dogs from Salem's Wall plan on killing him in retaliation or something, well, you've got another thing coming. Don't know what you're talking about. I don't care about the fat man. Anyway, I'm from Yetaria. Even fought for her once. Oh yeah? Is St. Hismark's in the business of training warrior monks? You're a sorry excuse for a brother of Sophia, and the less you show your ugly face around me, the better. Har har, you've got a temper. Don't you have a meal to prepare or something? Stop hanging around here. At your command, miss. And before you think of poisoning my food, I'm not touching anything. Wow. Soothe yourself. Ha, huh, and I thought I defended her. Guess she's just as rude as everyone else around here. I'm slowly scaring everyone out of the room. <laughs> oh, it's the other cook. Stop muttering to yourself. Am I saying all this out loud? Oh, sorry. What can I do for you, ma'am? Don't humor me, cook. I don't trust any of you. I can't get you a drink or something? If you had any manners, you'd tell me your real name and what you're doing here. William Bisque, ma'am. I'm just a cook. So long as you've been... So how long have you been working as Castle Scribe? Six months. How long have you been Belgrave's cook? Six months. Suspicious. Fine. I guess this great Sir Castle can't read or write them? Of course he can. He's one of the greatest military minds of this generation. Illiteracy is for peasants and for irredeemable morons like that shabby excuse for a monk. Then why does Castle need a scribe? Well, agreed about that monk, though. A goon and a half. Shouldn't you be helping him cook? Isn't that your job? Not that I'm eating anything you prepare, either. Stay away from me and stay away from the general. Fine, fine. Paranoid, huh? Almost reminds me of an arc agent. Well, paranoid, or she just has a grudge against anything with a pulse. Okay, we'll just hopefully this conversation is quick, because we're almost at 30 here. 
And Astrid, you were saying... Oh, it was nothing. I was just admiring Colston's work on the royal palace in Yuteria. Didn't you hear the project was completed in under three years? Under three years? Ho, ho. That's impressive. Impressive. Of course, I don't know much about that building stuff. Well, see, Miss Zabrukin, it was a very different sort of project, you see. I should have made him French. I'm changing my mind. I can do that. I have the power. I was told to do just what I wished, so everything flew by. And they weren't so concerned about budget either. Nothing robs an artist the wrong way more than money. Money is worthless. Money is pointless. It can only be, it can only corrupt beauty. Or maybe he's Italian. But I should have given him an accent. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I agree, Holston. I'll have to put aside my inheritance and maybe learn to be a painter. Of course, that means I'll need to withdraw funding. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, Mr. Brooken, let's not get too hasty. We can make an exception. Or maybe Russian. We'll see. I'll get there. I wonder. With all the money I've put into this so far, you'd think we'd see some progress. Sorry, ma'am, but you'll have to take me that up with Cardinal Call, not me. All this business and money talk. Let's forget that stuff and just try to relax, right? This is a vacation after all. So he does think it's a vacation. A vacation? I thought it was a diplomatic mission. Oh, Astrid, you know how these things work. That old buzzard of an ambassador doesn't care anyway. I'm just here to observe. So you do whatever you think is best. Hello again, William. How serendipitous to see you. There, um, that's the one I want. Hi, Holston, right? The architect? Among other things, yes. And you said you were a cook? Uh. <laughs> a cook, eh? You're pretty bold. When's my dinner, then? Oh, Sir Castle, don't be so rude. William, was it? Yes, ma'am. William Bisque, the lowly cook. I'm Astrid Zabrukin. You've probably heard of my father, but I'm just a socialite, and nothing more, just like everybody else here. Ho, 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 she says that, but... Miss Brooklyn. Oh, come on. I can stick with an accent. I can do it. I've done it before. Miss Brooklyn's one of the sponsors of the monastery. Oh, Jesus, British. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Ms. Zebrukin was one of the sponsors of the monastery here. Half, of these li half the library is thanks to her. And she even commissions new pieces. It's nothing really, just a hobby. But let's see, William. What do you think of the architecture here? Gothic is a nice style, right? You don't like that old classical stuff, do you? Er, well. Ho, 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 Astrid. Don't put that poor chap on the spot. But this is exactly my point, ma'am. The crux of the argument. My work is meant to inspire even simple folk. You can't constrain style. Oh, don't worry, Holston. I understand. <coughs> I breathe the wrong way. <coughs> Whoa. But if this project has its broken name on it, it has to be perfect. No. No exceptions. Excuse me, cook. You can you don't think I could request another drink from the cardinal, do you? Tell him to make it the special stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. 
I'll just talk to Dietrich myself. But unless you've got any opinions on high art, maybe you'd best focus on dinner. Right. Bunch of snobs. Okay, let's save here. Because my voice is going to go out any second now. <coughs> so we're at 35 minutes. And again, sorry. I, I can't wait to not be sick anymore. But have a glorious day, guys. I'll see you next time. And at least we are getting through this game. And it's go it's I think this one's going to be kind of a long one. We're already an hour in. We haven't even gotten to the murder. Haven't even gotten to the murder. Uh, but have a glorious day, like I said. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys... Uh, 2017.